Hello, Zeev Bahurt, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we explored the Alabaster Icelands a little bit, along with it, we ran into the Warden for this area, but now we're going to try to catch up the Sabi, who we also met in the last episode, who is way up there. So hopefully we can just switch over to a uh, Sneasler, I think it is. Maybe grab some stuff along the way. I don't know how our inventory is doing at the moment. Pretty full, but I think we have enough that we can just keep going. Not worry about it. How is my APOM collection? Actually good, okay, never mind. You can return to what you're doing, APOM. Don't really worry too much. Okay, let's also keep doing this with one for now. Oh, there's actually a Pokemon here. It's a Bergmite. I think we've caught a Bergmite before. But we'll go for another one here. I'll just throw a Pokeball to get things started. Maybe that's enough, we can just throw one right at the beginning. I doubt it, but you never know. Yeah, not gonna happen. Okay, Ice Shard. Not very effective against Monferno, so. They do get to attack twice, though. So. If we could just fight and land, that's 40. This is 75, let's land a Fire Punch. I don't think it'd be enough to get rid of you in one hit. Oh, perfect, so now we can throw a Pokeball. On Fern, I'll get might get taken out from this, which would be a shame, but let's just throw a great ball. We have 19 of them. Come on, this is a catch. It has to be a catch. They're so low on health. There it is. All right, so we might have caught Bergmite in the past. I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's actually three of three, but that's still good. There's still progress to be made there. Let's keep climbing. But I do want to keep Monferno, even though they're a little low on health at the moment, I want to keep them out in front so that we can just sort of keep giving them experience by throwing them at stuff. Okay, there's not too much happening up here. So I guess I'll just climb down. Oh, there's a new Pokemon. Don't think I can get you too easy from here. King's Leaf. I don't know if that's new, but we definitely haven't had much of it. Okay, this is a little weird. We got it though. And we'll run over this way. Oh, there you are. Hi, Sabi. But first, let's, uh... Perfect. Snowballs. So we finally made it up here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Zebra! We made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me? Or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? You might be. Hmm, no one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm. Once again, only you can answer. Let's go, Braviary. Okay, well, they're a cute pairing at the least. So I wonder which far off area, oh my goodness, they're so quick with everything. But is there something out there? I have my marker here. I guess not. So we have to go all the way over here to the slumbering lord of the tundra, I guess. And that's where it tells me to go then. I guess that's the way we're going. I won't be able to make a pit stop on the way, because there was a, uh, oh no. Not what I meant to do, but there is a quest there, so we'll make a marker there. There's a satchel here, and another satchel here. Okay, let's get started with that then. Explore some of this area along the way. Hopefully we find more new Pokemon, or at the least add to our Pokedex for the Pokemon we have passed. But there's this little guy, the, the Swinub, I think. I don't think we've gotten you to level 10, so if we could try that. I think what I have to do is sneak up on you from behind. So hopefully you turn around. There you go. Gotcha. Okay, so let's see what that does for us. That's a catch, five out of six. We need to catch one more then. That's a Baneary, which we have a Baneary, so I don't think we need this, but we can give it a try. Okay, very cool. 
Sneaking over this way, if I could get behind, oh, you, and throw a leaden ball at you. The problem with the leaden balls is that they don't go very far. Oh, oh, no! Ah, oh, come on! They had to turn around this way. Okay, so real quick then, I do wanna check with Swinub. Way down here, well, let's actually just switch it to, because we are in Alabaster Iceland, so that should make it easier. Order chronologically, let's see alphabetically. Because <laughs> I do not know where it is. There's Pile of Swine. Did I pass it? I must have passed it. Oh, right there, silly me. See, we're at seven out of 10. Uh, so I can catch one more for an extra point. And then, catching it without being spotted is another point as well. Okay, and then if I can defeat one, that's another easy point. So I'm not gonna worry about you. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Oh, I forget what it's called, but it's one of the electric Pokemon. Let's switch to a Great Ball for now. Guess I went the wrong, wrong way around. Sneak up as much as possible. No, 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 don't, don't notice me, don't notice me, please. Right there. Electabuzz, I think? It said on the bottom left. No, ah, no, run, run, no, don't, don't, don't. Okay, this is a bit of a problem, but let's try to fight you. Oh, the buzz is definitely an extra type, so hopefully a little pony can handle it. Level 40 at Electabuzz is actually quite high level. We are just gonna try play rough. Guess it's somewhere. Thunder, but well, we avoided the attack, good job, little pony. So let's switch. We'll throw a great ball and hope we get a catch. Come on. Nice, all right, so a new Pokemon we called Electabuzz. That is gonna be one of one. I'll have to keep working on that one. Some more Apons out that way, which I don't need too much. Oh, there's a piece of wood here, which you don't run into these very often, so if I can snag it real quick. Always worth a while. And then there's another like the buzz. Don't tell me you see me. The snowstorm is starting to rage on here. We gotta be careful of that. We're only wearing sandals. I feel like we need to get something a little more fitting for the weather. Whoa, where are you running to? Don't turn around just yet. Gotcha. Ah, oh, man, they do not like getting caught very easily. And is that an alpha pile of swine? I wonder if we could handle you. What type is pile of swine? Or swinub, sorry. Uh, ice ground. So fire wouldn't be the best against it. I guess water would be okay. We could try it. I don't see, whoa, hey buddy. I didn't realize I was still fighting you. That is a huge move, run! I don't like it. Uh. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna try it real fast. Whoa, <laughs> it's so cute though. Level 62, okay, we're running. Yep, we're running. Oh, I'm sorry, Flitzel. Oh, that hurt. Okay, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> we'll come back when we're higher leveled. And while there is some stuff around here, I don't know if we quite wanna do this at the moment. Could catch you though. Don't see me quite yet, and I'm hoping you'll turn around. It's so cute. Don't, no, no, no. Turn around. You can do it. That's it. Right there. Gotcha. Then I will toss that way out so that, okay. We can get some stuff there, but then I think we need to turn back around. There's stuff here, sure, but it's not what we're supposed to be focusing on. Send for now. Because I think somewhere near here, yeah, over this way, there was, oh, hey, a Bidoof. Oh, and a Weird Ear, that's, that's new for sure. Let's see if I can get you from here. Ah, not quite. Okay, don't notice me, don't notice me. I might just have to throw it, because they're, they're gonna turn towards me, I have a feeling. But hey, we got you. We need to catch one more, it's Stantler, not Weird Ear. 
I think maybe it evolves in a leader, and that's a Perugly. Okay. Please turn around. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Please don't notice that. But if we can switch to, I don't have too many at the moment. Could try an Asperberry. Berry. Would you like that? Uh, it looks like you do. Times you've given it food. Gotcha. There's not too much food to be had around here, so. Ah, darn. Don't be mad, don't be mad. Don't be mad, keep running. Thank you for not being mad. We don't have too much food to give around here. Or to really get to give it. We'll have to come back then and give them lots of food. Because I think this is just gonna be, yeah, the apricorns. Which I don't think they eat. I mean, we could try it. But it may be just something to save for later. We have plenty to focus on as it is. That, of course, you know, catching Pokemon is good. We should already have Drift One. Oh my, it's Glalie. Uh, Monferno's pretty beat up. Oh, I'm sorry, Monferno, you might get taken out. Yikes. Okay. So we will leave for now. And I wanna grab a satchel, but you're, oh no, th this wasn't the satchel, this was the uh, person needs help. When is Craig ever going to show up? Hello. I came to set up another base camp, but I don't spy Craig from the construction core. I told him to meet me near the base of the falls here in the Alabaster Iceland, so where is he? He's not the type to usually get lost, so I'm honestly a bit worried. Do me a favor, would you find Craig for me? Setting up the Ice Peak Camp, and this is something we wanna do as soon as possible, more camps means it's easier to travel, so definitely let's do this now. Look for Craig of the Construction Corps. I told Craig to meet me here at the base of the falls, but there's a sign of him anywhere. I wonder where in the world he could be. He's not the type to get lost. So I guess we just have to look around. Which we're at the base here, so maybe somewhere over there. Are these Pokemon? No, no, no. Okay, these are pop pods. So yeah, I guess we could have a Pokemon just break through that. I'll get some iron chunks for it. Okay. Whoa, so we might not find Craig in here, but we will find one of these wisps. So that's awesome. 17 wisps remaining in this area. So I want to, do I have any revives on me? I don't, unfortunately. I didn't really stock up for this, did I? Okay, so I wanted to use them on our Monferno. Okay, so we'll get this one real fast and then we're heading out of here. It's still experience for our Pokemon, so it's certainly not bad. But clearly, uh, Craig isn't over here. Oh wow, Pokemon. Where'd you go? I scared you off, darn. Didn't even see him until it was too late. There's another one. Right there. Gotcha. Hopefully that's a catch. Oh, here you are. It's a Basculin we just caught, that's nice. Hello, here he is, Craig. One of the survey cores, aren't you? Well, this is for fortuitous. Have you seen Bryce about? Bryce from the supply core? He's the one who told me to meet him at the base of the falls, and yet he hasn't shown. He's on the other side. What, you say he's on the other shore, across the river? I'm glad you came around, or my, I might have been here till I turned into a block of ice. I'll hurry off to find Bryce then, so we can get that camp up and running in no time. So there we go. There's definitely a Pokemon in there, but I'm not gonna worry about it, because we really need to heal up. Focus on some other stuff, right? So I will just go hop out of here, pressing all the wrong buttons. So they're back together, which is good. I wanna switch to Weirdier for now and just run faster, you know? Purr, it's as cold as a cub shoe snot out here. How did those Pearl Glen people stand it? Boy, do I owe you for finding Craig for me. Now we can finally get things, things set up. Hey, 
And here you have it, our newest base camp. Stop by anytime you need. Well, now would be a great time setting up the Ice Peak at Camp Complete, a new base camp just for us and for the professor. Oh no. Goodness, I don't know how the Pokemon living in this frigid place find the energy to dash about as they do. Do they have a nice layer of insulating fat, perhaps? That must There must be some trick to it. Okay, so for right now, I guess I could talk to you, there's more. It's so cold, I can't even feel my fingers. I can't work like this. I just wanna earn my way up through the ranks. But to do that, I've got to at least warm myself up enough to feel my fingers. You think you could bring me a Pokemon that's good at manipulating flames? Then it could keep our, our fire roaring for me. In search of a fiery Pokemon. Well, I certainly have some. Did you bring me a fire type Pokemon that could keep the flames roaring? Let's see, do I have any extra fire type Pokemon? That's really the question here. Which honestly, we haven't seen too many fire type Pokemon. Like we have Inferno who's fainted, so I don't wanna give that. I could give Magmar, but it's my only Magmar at the moment. So I think I'm gonna take a pass on this one for the time being. But we will rest up. And I think after that, we're good to keep going. I might wanna organize my inventory a little bit, but beyond that, let's keep it moving. Okay, we're gonna get back to it then. I don't have too many Pokeballs at the moment. I could, you know, go and craft some stuff, but I didn't wanna to bother too much. Just wanted to keep moving, really. Because we'll have our chances to later. Oh gosh, not what I wanted. Yeah, get back on Basque Legion. I can remove that marker, though. We still have a couple. Oh, it's Lake Aquity. It's interesting how things match up to Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond. Okay, so we'll hop out of here. Is that a Sneasler as well? I think so. It must be a Hiswian Sneasler. Okay, well you're just chilling out, so I wonder if just a normal Pokeball, or Sneasel. Yeah, not Sneasler. We got you. Nice. Well, that's our second one we've caught. But I'm pretty sure they look different in the other games, so I think that's a Hiswian version. Okay, well, I don't wanna mess with you too much. But it looks like we're coming up on some huts or whatever, so that's cool. And what about the Snom? I think that if I feed the Snom, oh gosh, can you not? Like, just don't, please stop. So mean. And let's toss that over, okay, you're gonna run. I'm gonna run too. I'm sick of this guy. Jeez, what did I do? Oh, now he's gonna eat the berry, huh? Doesn't even deserve that. <laughs> okay, it's fine. He can have it. Oh, here's somebody, hello. Coming all the way to visit us in our cold home? Dominia. Even Irida must have her doubts about how best to lead the Pearl Clan. I suppose so, but that's sort of the struggle of being a leader in any circumstance. See, we're coming up across a whole village of people. This is cool. All the space around me is space something. I don't know what that said. Hello. It's hard gathering food out in these parts. Not much to find in the first place, I guess. When a fiery Pokemon sits next to you, its flames get get you all cozy and warm. I heard there's a place called the World's End. Where is that? I don't know, but hopefully I can visit it one day and I'll tell you all about it. Cleaver and the other noble Pokemon watch over us and protect us humans. While Pokemon like Ursaluna let us ride them and take, the, take us far and wide across the sea. But did you know that these Pokemon are all descendants of the 10 companions of the ancient hero of legend? I didn't, that sounds interesting. And I guess we could go into each house as well. I don't know if there's too much going on in these, but might as well take a look. Hello. Hmm, maybe I should go trade for some tools at one of the Galaxy Team's base camps. Their handiwork is something else. It would sure feel a lot cheerier around here if not for our ongoing feud with the Diamond Clan. Yeah, I agree, I wish you guys weren't feuding so much. Young Irida started training to become the clan leader when she was barely out of infancy. She's never had anyone her age to play with. Oh, that's sad. Poor Irida. Okay, so I guess we'll have to go into each house and sort of talk to everyone. It's cool because we get a, a better idea of sort of the world and the story and everything, which is nice. They say Almighty Sinnoh watches over us from somewhere beyond the skies. Yeah, sort of over that big mountain with the big vortex coming out of it, probably. I remember a girl with a crow gunk. She said, all the Proclon does is sit around and watch over boring places. And then she ran off into the wilds. I wonder what she's doing now. 
maybe that was a uh, one of the Misfortune Sisters? It's a real pain getting hold of materials here in the Icelands. We have to buy almost everything from the Ginkgo Guild. It can only imagine, it's pretty desolate out here. Yurida is serious to a fault, but well, she was chosen as her clan leader very young, after all. I think it would have been fine to entrust Polina with that role for a little while. I suppose so, but things are how they are. I think there's a couple more huts we can enter. Ingo is unbelievably good at battling with Pokemon, don't you think? I mean, it's like his knowledge about Pokemon is on a completely different level. Yeah, I think we met Ingo already. I think that's who gave us Snoozler. Some Pokemon can actually be very affectionate towards humans. They live and grow together with us, and even protect us from wild Pokemon. After journeying to Hisui from across the sea, our ancestors met Almighty Sinnoh in this place. That is why the Pearl Clan decided on this location for our new home. This location specifically, or just Hisui in general? Hello, we got a little Machop. That's cute, haven't seen a Machop yet. Almighty Sinnoh created the world. Space was then born from that creation. Huh. Okay, so I think that's everyone. There might be one more little house. Actually, there's still a couple. It's nice to run around and talk to these people, though. Like I said, it's good to get sort of like a slice of the world, understand what people are thinking about. Snowy terrain reflects a lot of light, so it's even easier to get sunburned here than at the beach. Though, we don't go about exposing much skin here in this climate. It's interesting to think about. You just have a higher risk of getting a sunburn and a snowy temperature like this because, like they said, the sun reflects off the snow. You wanna think it works that way, but it does. We didn't have Pokemon to help us. There's no way we could survive in this frozen land. I agree. Without my Pokemon, I'd be way back there still. Though Lord Avalug may not know move much about much, he keeps the wild Pokemon in check and watches over the safety of our settlement. That's why we're worried with the frenzy going on. That might not be as possible. Hello. Irida was so young when her mother left us. The poor girl can't even recall her mother's face. Perhaps that's why she adores Polina so much. That's so sad, I feel so bad for Irida now. With love in your heart for Almighty Sinnoh and with your dear ones close at hand, you can live just about anywhere. This is one of Pearl Clan's teachings. Yeah, it doesn't seem easy to live here, but I guess if you're determined enough, it can be home. Okay, so that was a nice little stop. We're almost there now, so making some decent progress. This is probably where we have to switch over to Sneasler. Whoa, look at these guys. I ought to take a, what did that say? I have no, no clue. Uh, even we in the Pearl Clan might start moving to new areas if our clan gets bigger. If only the founders of our clan had met Almighty Sinnoh somewhere a bit more safe or warm. I'm sure many of us could have lived longer. I suppose so. Can we catch these Pokemon? Just from here? I don't think so. Yeah, they're just chilling. Hi. Oh, this is so cute. Nice little warm little sauna. Okay, there we go. We'll switch to Sneezer and I guess we're back to the climb. I'm sure there's a more specific way up, but oh, can I not go up this? I'm a little confused, I, I cannot go farther. It's too steep even for Sneasler? Why can't I get up here? Okay, well this is obviously not the way I'm supposed to do this, son. Huh? Well, maybe from over there? I'm a bit confused. Uh, yeah, let's go over this way then. I'll toss Monferno at this. We have to be coming up on the evolution from Monferno again, I think. But I'm happy to make some experience with that at the least. There we go. So let's try it from over here then. Will I be able to climb this or will it stop me once more? Because this is pretty high up. 
Maybe there just is a maximum to the steepness, but this is more or less straight up. Okay, am I stuck? I'm not stuck. So I guess there's something about going behind it. It just doesn't want me to do that. That is so odd. Oh, that's a new Pokemon, I believe. Let's see if we can't sneak up behind it. Maybe throw a wing ball. Right there, gotcha. And we caught you, that is a Rufflet. Our first one caught, how exciting. And it seems that there are more Pokemon around, so try to grab a couple of them along our way. Also got a Lepa Berry. Oh, Bronzor and Bronzong, which Bronzor we have gotten to maximum. Keep going the long way around with that. Whoa, hold on. Alakazam over there. Gonna toss it over and see if I can't sneak up on you. Because if I could, that'd be a big deal. Gotta be real sneaky though. Not when you're looking at me. That'd be quite the catch. Gotta get a little bit closer, just a little bit. There it is. Gotcha! Come on, catch, catch, catch. Ah, oh, darn. But you're not gonna go away, okay. Maybe we could fight you. Do we have anything that would have dark type moves? And we have Luxray, so maybe we might have Bite here. Level 51, so it does have a level lead. Recover, HP is full. I don't know why I did that. Uh, we'll just try Crunch. Any power, maybe just a normal Crunch. Ah, darn. Okay, that was too strong. Unfortunate, but I tried. And defeating it still adds to the Pokedex one way or another, so it's not the end of the world. Just a little upsetting. Whoa, so this is Lake Aquity. Yes, it is. Gotcha, maybe we'll explore that in a bit. But Bronzong is a Pokemon I believe I need to catch more of. Oh no, hopefully it doesn't notice me, hopefully it doesn't notice uh, it noticed me. Does it still know I'm here? It does, okay. We're just gonna leave it be then. We can always try to catch that stuff some other time. Because we have more important stuff on our to-do list. Like, uh, maybe on with the main story and such. Okay. I did not throw that far enough, but I, I already saw a CB there. Hello. Finally caught up with you. You're way too quick. Hi again, Zebra. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? Hmm. I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> I don't know why they keep asking me. I heard what, the, what Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chests too. Make your way to the top floor of Snowpoint Temple. Okay. So we'll pay attention to the statues and see where we can go. Hopefully we can make it somewhere. Whoa. This place is very spooky, very ominous. So we have all these statues sort of facing inward, but they do have patterns on the front of them, but so far they all look the same. Well, this one's, I can investigate it. There are faint traces of a rock pattern on the on the statue's chest. This one's a sun, ice pattern, Never mind. <laughs> sort of looked like a sun to me. Steel pattern, so different types of Pokemon. What about this one? Oh gosh, I'm in trouble. Bronzong, okay. Uh, yeah, let's not for right now. Steel pattern. Oh, okay, that dodge didn't work. Another ice pattern. And rock. Okay, what do I do with this information? So this one was rock, ice, oh my. Ah. 
Rock, ice, steel. And that one was steel, ice, rock. Okay, so it's just, I see what's going on. What about this thing? Who knows? Can't interact with it in any way. So I guess our best bet is to go this way because there's a staircase. I don't know if I'm supposed to be battling you guys. They're pretty high level. 52, but that's insane. I don't know if we can really do much. So I will run. But then maybe I could sneak back up on you and catch you, that'd be great. Now let's see if I can do that. You're facing over that way now. If I could just toss this leaden ball at you and catch you, please don't turn around. See, it sort of fools you. It makes you think that you're close enough to throw up. You gotta get really close with this thing. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, that was baloney. I was like so far. Okay, so we're just gonna try going this way and see what it ends up getting us. Cause there's clearly more than one way to go. If I choose the correct direction. Okay, so, oh, I think I understand. We have to follow the pattern, which was rock, ice, steel. But then this isn't, oh, maybe I'm getting that wrong. Rock, steel, and then ice, right? That's the pattern that we just saw here. Rock, steel, ice. So is that what we have to do here? Investigate. There are three panels fitted into the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are faint traces of words carved on the door as well. Wither the statue's gaze. Which panels do you press first? Okay, so it was rock, steel, ice, or what was it? Hold on, never mind. I already forgot. It was rock, steel, ice. Rock, steel, ice. Rock, steel, ice. Okay. Rock. Steel, ice. You press the panels, and I think that worked. Here we go. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Solve the stone statue's puzzles and make your way to the Snowpoint Temple's top floor. I'll try my best. Okay, so that's a dead end. So we have ice. Rock, steel, but the the way they're pointing at each other, I think, is what matters. So, ice, rock, steel. It just points this way. Ice, rock, steel, and there's another one over here. Ice, rock, steel, rock. So, what is this last one? Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. So it's very important to, to pay attention to like what's pointing at one with the arrow. Okay, so I think I got it. It's gonna be ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Let's see if I got it right. Ooh. And it's open. So it's a bit of a memory game. So we're just heading over that way, but where are we starting from is the question. I guess whatever's the farthest back, which would be over here, I suppose. So steel. Steel, ice. Rock, and that one's pointing to this. Steel, ice, rock, ice. Steel, ice, rock, ice. Steel, ice, rock, ice. He's gonna repeat it to yourself. Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel. Rock. Steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. I think I got it. <laughs> okay, let's try it. If not, I can write it down. But if I could, you know, steel, Ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. I think we got it. Yes, okay, hopefully that's the last one because re remembering a longer chain than that is definitely gonna require me to write it down. Make it way to the top floor of Snow, Snow Point Temple. So I think we did it. Oh, it's a Ralts. Whoa, hold on. 
Hopefully I can just get a quick catch on you. I missed. Not this one now. Whoa, whoa. That is a frenzied Curlia. No, no, no. Can I throw a Pokeball at you? How does this work? Oh, I can. I didn't know I could just catch him like that. It doesn't work very often. Go, run, run. I'm not gonna deal with you. Please leave me alone. There's no way I have the level for you. Because everything over here just seems to be over leveled for me at the moment. Oh, hey. Uh. Okay, just gonna. That was a little awkward, but maybe it's a catch? It is! All right, two out of three. I can catch one more for some progress in the Pokedex. I don't know if we'll find another more, but. Oh, and we made it. I see, B. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really wanna be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Hang on. You got cold feet now after chasing me all the way here? I need to heal first. Prove your strength to save you on the top floor of Snowpoint Temple. I would like to just make sure my Pokemon are good and ready to go before I do. So we have some potions and stuff. Actually, no, everybody's full. So we should be fine. Hopefully that means we can start with uh, maybe this is UI. I'm a little worried that we're not leveled up enough for this. Well, however the future turns out, flying with bravery isn't easy. So yeah, let's go for it. Yep. Now get ready, because here come Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electivire, all three of them. Go. So we're starting with Rhyperior, I'm guessing. Whoa. Go to Sidueye. So are we fighting all of them at once? Oh my goodness, that's hardly fair. Uh, these are big guys too. Uh, super effective against one of them. Which one? I guess we have to find out. Um, can use Magic Leaf. Oh man, okay, that's close, that's good. Agile style from uh, that guy. Why is it three versus one? This is just ridiculous. Okay, now <laughs> paralyzed. Uh, Magmortar's just looking around. High horsepower, yikes. Electivire's looking around. Can I attack again? I guess I gotta take a hit from you first. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we are in the red, but I might just be able to get rid of you. Oh, no, you get to attack twice. Because of course you do. This is I fainted. Which stinks, because we were doing pretty well with that. Okay, Floatzel is super effective against some of this. I think Rhyperior might be ground type or something. Let's just try Aqua Tail against you for now. Get rid of Rhyperior, and that puts us in a much better spot. Because these two are only level 30 each. Thunder Wave is sort of a problem now for Floatzel. That's gonna be Paralyzation again, but if we can just land a hit on Magmortar, it's probably gonna be a one-hit takedown. Oh gosh, but they get to attack so much before we get to do anything. See, like, the back-to-back -back attacks is just simply not fair. That doesn't make any sense. I think I get to our, that our attack maybe isn't, like, super fast, but, geez, that's ridiculous. Okay, so what are we going against here? Like, what do we want to do? I guess we could just try Low Punny. I don't have any revives on me or anything. Okay, so fight, we will do swift, I suppose. As long as it does some damage, but now they get to attack like 15 times. Here comes that agile style, thunder wave. I guess that'll paralyze us. Magmortar is gonna use the flames. Okay, then it goes again, right? Okay, can we land one more Swift on you? Gotcha, so it's just now Electivire. I think we can handle that, even if Full Punny gets taken out here, we have other Pokemon we can rely on, because you're level 30, which means even Inferno is like at a decent matchup. We could just try matching the type, and now we're just using Crunch and crunching our way through. Might be our best bet, let's Crunch. 
Ooh, not bad, one more. Thunder Punch isn't gonna do much, and that's exactly what we were looking for, just crunch again. Gotcha. So we defeated Electivire, and with it we defeated Zabi. That was ridiculous, but we made it through. Bunch of experience for those that are still there, are still awake. Wow, you caught us and you beat us. You've won all of our, our games so far, but Braviary still wants to get to know you even better. Up the roof we go. Okay, I, do I even get my Pokemon healed? I don't. Okay, well that's a little unfortunate, but hopefully we don't have any more battles to do. Guess we'll find out at the top of the staircase. Almost there. It's a long walk. And leave. Whoa, hey! Okay, that surprised me. All right, Braviary, why not test out Zebra's strength for yourself? Are we battling again? I don't even get a chance to prepare. I have three Pokemon left, but hopefully Monferno, Luxray, and Driftbloom can handle it. Brave Bird, oh my. Well, that's not a good start. This is actually, I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect, but the recoil gets you taken out. I'm hoping that we can just maybe do like a wild charge or something. Well, this is your options, but this is probably my best chance just to take them down real quick. So that's 85. Okay, then that's it. We're gonna do strong style. It'll hurt itself as well. But if we can just take you down in one hit, come on, please. That's it, awesome, we got ya. Okay, Luxray pulling through for us. That was scary. I can't believe Bravery lost. But that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Wait. I was kidding. Play along with me on your flute. Oh, I think they liked it. Braveberry opened his heart and learned all, or learned well the sound of your playing. <laughs> I love Braveberry, very cute. We received the sky play from Braveberry. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of flight. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the flying type. Thanks, Sabi. Oh, it's Adamant. Sure, having Zebra to fly around with should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? Tell me, why do you think that lightning that comes off from the, from the rift causes these frenzies? Do you think this is all mighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? If it is a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and quell the last noble, Calm Avalug, then the rift's really ought to close, right? Even, even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? If you thought you you weren't, I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. Hush, Sabi, I can feel history on the move. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this hit new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. The question is, does listening to Adam and fascinate you? Or does or bore you to tears? Hmm. Anyway, Zebra, it's time for you to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from way up here, Braviary can take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to to get the eternal ice. That's what you need why well, you needed Braviary in the first place, right? Okay, so do we get to fly with Braviary, Dale? That's gonna be so cool. Avalug's legacy is down there. Oh, now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, 
Just ask him to dive. You can now call Braviary and glide through the air with him. So I guess it's not as much flying, but it is gliding, soaring the skies with Braviary. With Braviary, you can fly up and in, into the sky, or high up into the sky, and explore the different areas of Hisui from the air. You can summon Braviary using the plus button wherever you may be, and you can also press the A button while you're falling from some height to summon him in a flash. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, the slumbering lord of the tundra. Glide with Braviary to land atop Avalog's legacy and obtain the piece of eternal ice. So wow, what an adventure it's been in today's episode. We made our way up this giant tower. We were able to battle Sabi, and we were able to get Braviary to help us out. Now go get a feel for flying with Braviary. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. So we'll be doing all that and more, I'm sure, in the next episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.